for this next routine, we're going to be using the chair against the wall. You're still going to get that same dynamic effect as you would with your hands on the wall, only we're really putting that chair right up against the wall and uh, I'm creating that um, st stabilization that we're looking for by using your hand and getting your body in that perfect alignment. This is a great workout because we're going to be toning your hips and your shoulders, being able to really get your eyes to focus. Um, it's in the sense of an aerobic workout. It's, it's a whole complete package here. You're going to love this combination. Mary Eileen will begin by putting her left hand on the board or on the chair, and she can take her right hand and put it on the wall. Let's just pause that for a moment. Because you want to make sure when you put your right hand on the wall, you don't raise your right shoulder. You keep your right shoulder lowered down, but your eyes kind of look straight ahead and to the right fingers. And being able to really get your body in a beautiful uh, flat back here, stabilizing her right hand. So this, is, this alone is really good. For anybody that has shoulder issues or they have uh, shoulders that slouch, putting your hand on the wall like this, having your left hand on the chair like that, being able to grip right into the middle of your torso. It's very effective. I'm going to have Mary Eileen then lift up her left leg. Good. And she's got a little bit of a weight here, maybe like a two pound. You can use some light weight. And she raised up her left hip. And you're going to try to keep your left hip parallel to your right. So it's going to lower it down a little bit. That's right. Scoop your tummy in and up and keep your left leg up nice and high. Now you've got a beautiful line here from having your left foot come up like that. You're looking at your right hand and creating the impact from your right hand and running it all the way down to the heel of your left foot, really contracting all along the erector muscles that run from your neck all the way to your tailbone. And she looks there. She inhales nice and deep. It's going to contract really nice and deep here in your upper part of your glute too. So really concentrate on that and really get all that energy flowing nice from your hand to your foot. Good. Exhale. Put your left foot down. And she's going to put her right hand down. Let's finish that. Let's go ahead and go right into a deep flat back. Step back, Ariel, and there you go. Open your legs wide apart and just stretch this out for a minute after we did a really good stretch. And allowing yourself to bring your chest down, you have your hands on the chair, bring your tailbone up to the ceiling, and creating a beautiful line here of energy running from the wall to the chair on her hands and right up to her tailbone. She's going to tip her tailbone up to the ceiling, and then slightly a little bit toward her head will really help to contract the lower part of her body. Her feet are nicely planted. Take a deep breath in. Nice and deep. Feel that energy running all the way into the sides of her ribs. Good. And exhale. All right. Come on back up. And we'll go into a cat and cow leg kick. To do this exercise, um, she's going to stack her feet right underneath. Good. And her hands are planted. And let's go ahead and take your right leg out. Take your right leg way out and look ahead. You're going to look at the wall. Good. Now get your body in that clean alignment because you're going to be coming back to this. So you want to make sure that your hands, the heel of your hands, are pressing good into the chair and that your left foot is in a good stable position where you feel like it's really balancing the lower part of your body to the upper part as you have your right leg out. And see her eyes are looking up and ahead at the wall. She's going to exhale and bring her knee into her nose. All the air goes out, push the navel to the back of the spine, and then inhale back up. Way up, beautiful back bend. See how that goes right into her spine, lifting it all up. Exhale, come back in. Inhale, come back out. We're going to get some beautiful breath work here as she exhales her all her air out and then inhale in. And I want you to do that through your nose and be able to really concentrate on inhaling and taking all the air in and then exhaling and releasing all the air out. Keep going. Exhale and inhale. Again, you can use two pounds, three pounds. Stay with, stay with a light amount of weight so that way you can get your reps in and at the same time be able to really concentrate on contracting and focusing on the area you want to go into, into the buttock, into the upper part of your glute. If you have too much weight, you're going to start using your shoulders. You don't want to do that. You want to really isolate. So a little bit of weight is all you need to get the impact. On a three, looking up, chest, shoulders drop down. Good. One more time and hold that. 
you want to do three reps of this, you can do it 10 times each and work yourself up to that. Good. Put your um, right foot back down. We'll go back into a deep flat back. Again, she's pulling her um, chest down. The heels of her hand thrust into the chair, which now goes into the wall. And then she's able to tip her tailbone up to the ceiling. Her, let's straighten out your legs and turn your feet out a little bit. There you go. It's really important that you keep those legs straight because you want your kneecap to your hip. So you lock that up. You're nice. Inhale there. Bringing your chest down. Beautiful stretch into the middle of your back. Breathing in. It's a great place to just stretch out and lengthen your spine. It's easy on your upper body, too, because you're using the chair. You're creating less weight into your neck and shoulder area, which will uh, just allow you to um, really take advantage of stretching out in a comfortable way. From there, Mary Eileen will come back up. Good. And let's go ahead and do the opposite side now. So now bring up her right leg. And holding that again with a little bit of weight in her um, right foot, she's contracting deep into the upper part of her glute and traveling that energy from her hand all the way down to her buttock and into her foot. Holding that and, again, making sure that your right hand is giving you good support along with your left foot. Breathing in, hold up. Inhale, keep that contraction going in the middle of your back. Exhale, go ahead and put your hand down and your foot down. Good. And we'll go ahead from there and go into the cat and cow. She's going to bring her knee in and exhale that out. Going back and forth nice and deep. Releasing it and then inhale back up. You're going to see a great deep stretch going in here every time. We're building up that muscle memory by her simply bringing her head up and contracting in her back muscles, feeling that right leg go up nice and high and creating a lot of energy going into her right buttock and into her um, mid-back. Good. Inhale here and exhale out on a three. Come back up. Hold that and look up on a two. Good. And one more time. Exhale all that air out. Inhale all that air in. Expanding and opening. Good. And then she'll put her right foot down and she'll step back. Go ahead and step way back. There you go. Heels up her hand, pressing in. Her chest coming down deep. Her legs are straight. Getting those kneecaps up to your hips. Beautiful. Bringing your chest down and feeling some great energy coming from the wall right into the middle of her back. She's actually feeling the weight pressing into the heels of her hand. She tips the tailbone up to the ceiling and slightly toward her head to be able to contract lower from the ribs down to her low back. Take a nice deep breath in one more time, allowing your body to lengthen. And exhale. You can step right back up. Good. Thank you.